Locals of different ages and backgrounds are coming together to stop spread the coronavirus. People across the Twin Tiers are sewing masks for friends and family to help health care workers and their aiding distribution too. Our 18 News reporter Lise Kim gives us a closer look at how locals are doing their part. People throughout the Twin Tiers are stepping up to help the community by making masks. Because I used to teach the sewing classes and I love sew, I have a lot of materials and some, you know, knickknacks there. I just decided, you know what, I have enough materials at least for this community. From children to adults, everyone from all types of backgrounds are coming together to do their part. Our, our granddaughters, they did not know how to sew. And I just gave them the material and kind of watched over them, told them what to do, and they made their own mask. I went to the store to get groceries, and I had my mask, and I noticed that the people who work there, the workers, didn't have any masks. And I was thinking there is a shortage, and people can't sew them by themselves. And although everyone comes from different sewing backgrounds... I'm Russian. You know, I've been sewing as long as I know me. Even though it's only mask and whatnot, it's not my cup of tea, really. They're all doing something to help, even going as far as taking on projects to distribute masks. I made a website, and through the website, I list the four drop boxes around the community. And as people drop masks in the box, I contact different organizations who are in need of masks. So far, I've collected 321 masks and distributed all of them in three days. From crafting masks to distribution, the community has really shown how we can be Twin Tiers strong. Elise Kim, 18 News.